I finished adding some details to my example page here. So I added the year that the film was released, the genres, some of the key actors, a short description, as well as the movie banner. I also swapped out the logo and am calling this Reviews. Okay, so I have this looking a little more like a movie listing website, but now what I want to do is I want to be able to click on one of these listings and have that go to a detail page for that movie that I clicked. Right now, you can see if I click on it, nothing happens. All right, so let's create a page for the details. Well, back in IntelliJ, what I want to do is look at my directory right here. And what I want to do is create a dynamic template of sorts for the details page. And that's pretty easy to do in Nuxt. So all I'm going to do is right click on page, add new file, and then I'm going to type an underscore, which an underscore is important because that's telling Nuxt that this is a dynamic page. And I'm going to call this underscore title dot view. Okay, I've added that new page. And like before, I've already gone and created the contents of this page. So I'm just going to copy and paste that here. All right, now that I have this new page, and this is a detail page for the movie Children of Men, what I want to do now is link that row on the movie listing page to this detail page here. So I'm going to go back to index.view and then find that link. And what I'm going to do is get rid of ahref and replace that with nuxt-link. And instead of using the a tag, nuxt uses this nuxt-link tag for the links. And then I'm going to point that to a new page, but I want the page to also contain the title of the movie. So I'm going to go ahead and type children underscore of men. And of course, what I'm going to do is just double check to make sure that this open tag has its corresponding closing tag. And it looks like it's still listed as A. So I'm going to go ahead and replace that with close nuxt link. And then let's save that out and open Safari back up. All right. Well, let's see if that worked. I'm going to click on children of men and yay, I see the details page. Okay, cool. So this data isn't dynamically generated quite yet, but I really wanted to build out the front end so I could see what kind of data structure I'll need to create for the back end. I could see that I'm going to need a movie title. I'm going to need some kind of graphic, the release date, genres, who the top build actors are, a description, and a short review. All right. So I know what kind of data elements I need for my back end. So before I update the front end even more to make it dynamic, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create the back end and an API using Adonis.js.